Today I'm going to show you how to add a twist to this classic um, brownie, uh, a cranberry cherry brownie. They're very easy to make and sure to be a crowd pleaser at your next uh, picnic. And you're using dried cranberries. Very nice snack food, but uh, they taste so um, good with chocolate. And uh, plump the cranberries, two thirds of a cup in about a third of a cup of cranberry juice. And uh, heat that um, just until the uh, liquid starts to get um, absorbed and let it sit for a while and they really do plump up tremendously. And, uh, and then melt an eighth, uh, excuse me, a half a cup of butter and um, six ounces of bittersweet chocolate over some simmering water. So into the melted chocolate and butter, uh, add one and a half cups of sugar. This is a real soft and chewy brownie. It's quite delicious, actually. We developed the recipe ourselves at, uh, in the test kitchens of Martha Stewart Living. So there, that's mixed in nicely. Add three eggs. And you can do this all in a bowl. You don't need a mixer to do this. Get that all incorporated. And uh, you add a fourth of a cup of unsweetened cocoa. Joey, is your mouth watering? It is, Martha. Come on over here, Joey. I can? Yeah. All right. I don't know if we'll have a finished one in time for you to taste. But I'll you, eat it just but like that. No, you will not. <laughs> you will keep your fingers out of this. Mm -hmm. I don't see, know, how, see how nice and chewy that looks? Yes, already? it does. Oh, and then a half a teaspoon of salt. Mm -hmm. Mix that in. And then a little, a little bit of flour, half a cup plus oh, okay. two tablespoons. Thickens it a little bit? Right. Well, no, that's, you know, we're making brownies. Yeah. Brownies have flour mm -hmm. usually okay. in them. So mm -hmm. just, mm -hmm. and I'll just incorporate this with a rubber spatula. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to also add pecans and those plump cherries. Mm -hmm. Now you can turn that down because once it, once it comes to a, to a boil, just turn it off. Okay. And see it now here. Cranberries. Yes. Yeah, so here These we have the cranberries that are plump. Yeah. See how much plumper they are? Mm. They're really it smells nice. Smells good too. Yeah, I I like this. You could do the dried cherries, dried mm -hmm. cranberries. Mm-hmm. Want me to mix that for you, Martha? No. You're gonna do it. <laughs> and a half a cup of toasted pecans. Mm -hmm. If you like pecans. If you don't like nuts, you don't have to put the nuts okay. into. Now we have a buttered and floured uh, brownie pan. Mm -hmm. Eight inch square. Okay. See how easy? Yeah. Pecans or pecans? Well, I say pecans. Uh huh. And you say pecans? I think I say pecans. Pecans? Yeah. Hmm, okay. Whatever. Same nut. Okay, okay, so we will put this into here. Oh, preheat your oven to 350 degrees uh, until set, about 50 minutes. Can you hold this bowl? Yeah. Yeah, hold the bowl. That's better. There you go. It's a little slippery. Yep. Yeah, think. let me take that bowl from you, Martha. Not quite yet. <laughs> My mother taught me to <laughs> scrape out every single bit. Not every single bit. I you never leave anything for the children. Every single. <laughs> it's well, not part of leave the. Leave something not, for me then. <laughs> not part of the deal here. It's not. You can no. Oh, leave no, that. No. Oh. It's like a tablespoon. All right. Can I have that rubber? No. Thing? <laughs> <laughs> there. <laughs> Good. Okay, so get that right into the oven. And here, you want to taste? Yes. You want to taste the real thing? Yes, I do. Okay, the cooked thing. Mm -hmm. So I always like to cut in half. Uh-huh. And then in half again. Okay. You'll see it's quite moist. And then we'll... I'll, I'll take that half. Here, this is, your, this is your square, Joey. Okay. That's because you're such a good audience warm-up artiste. Thank here. you, Martha. That's Joey's. For everybody...